In the new modern world we live in now, there are certain things we look at as context clues for certain situations. For example, when a player unfollows a team or another player on social media, something Trevor Bauer's former Dodger teammates did. That may seem pointless, irrelevant, and stupid at first to even bring up, but when you really think about it, why would anyone just randomly unfollow someone? Do we sometimes as the public look too deep into things and reach for a narrative? Sure, absolutely. With that said, I do feel like that typically means something. Another example of things we as fans notice and take into consideration as something relevant is liked tweets. For example, when Marcus Stroman liked a tweet saying this. Stroman is the king of this instance. For another example, like when last offseason before he ended up signing with the Cubs, Stroman kept liking tweets of fans accusing teams of being racist, including the Mets, because they preferred pitchers Kevin Gossman and Robbie Ray over him, pitchers who are of course white. Everything you like on Twitter is completely public too, and I'm sure Stroman didn't care, but it's just crazy how many tweets he likes that criticize other teams for the whole world to see. Stroman really seemed to hate the Mets on his way out, and speaking of the Mets, their owner Steve Cohen is now giving us some information indirectly on how he feels about Carlos Correa. Before I get any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 70% of my watch time has been from people who aren't subscribed, so hit that button along with the bell for post notifications. Okay, back to the video. This whole Carlos Correa drama has most certainly overstated its visit, yet here we are, still with him not officially being on a team. He of course is negotiating with the Mets, but recent reports seem to indicate that there's a very good chance those negotiations could fall through. MLB reporter and insider Andy Martino recently reported that the Mets are growing frustrated with negotiations and are considering walking away from the deal entirely. Now, it is strange because that same source did say that they believe the deal will still go through, so we don't really know what to believe at this point, but there seems to be a better idea now that Steve Cohen himself has indirectly told us how he feels about this whole Korea situation. A Mets fan on Twitter by the name of Adrian16010 saw that report from Andy Martino about the Mets being frustrated with Correa, quote tweeted it, and said this, quote, Met fans, don't panic. In the event this isn't a ploy, remember, the Mets have options in either Escobar or a young gun in Beatty. I want Carlos, but he needs the Mets more than they need him. Plus, his options are shrinking. Stay the course. Hashtag LGM, hashtag New York Mets, hashtag Mets Twitter, end quote. Steve Cohen liked that tweet. And then there was another tweet, this time by Twitter user Bruce Gamzee, who said, quote, We are already a better team than we were this time last year. Remember, we won 101 games last year. That's because of the commitment Steve Cohen has made to the team and fans. Whether the Correa deal works out or not, it's great to have an owner willing to do anything to win. End quote. For some reason, nobody seems to be giving this much attention, and what it is is Steve Cohen, the Mets owner, blatantly sending a message by liking tweets, one in which criticizes Carlos Correa. And again, this is all public. And as of the time of me making this video, those liked tweets are still liked by Cohen and up on his profile. So he doesn't seem to be backing down on his calling out of Carlos Correa. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.